I am standing outside of Retro Quest Toys and Collectibles. Super cool name for a toy shop, by the way. The Hall of Justice just kind of chilling up here. Yeah, some really nice horror stuff. Ooh. Wow, that is a really clean Wampa. Check this out. If you can see this wall here, it's just packed with 90s toys. This is really cool. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday, February 17th. I am here in Port Jervis, New York. I am standing outside of Retro Quest Toys and Collectibles. Super cool name for a toy shop, by the way. Shout out to my buddy Amit. He put me onto this place just a few days ago. He sent me a link to the store's Instagram page. Fantastic Instagram. These guys have done a great job at showcasing the store's inventory through what I would consider thoughtful reels and picture albums. There is a nice hearty mix of late 80s, early 90s stuff, which is right up my alley. So with that said, I'm going to flip the camera around, head inside, and let's get this party started, shall we? <laughs> Okay, this is what you see walking in here before you even step into the store. Our posters on one wall. And I know my buddy Jersey Geek's gonna like this. I like this myself. Mortal Kombat movie poster, 1995. Let me know in the comments, I loved that movie. I loved all of them. Have our own Mystique and Charm, just sort of a mishmash of stuff on this table here. And this is the shot straight away as you walk in. This place is packed with stuff. Lord of the Rings chest set down here. It's pretty neat. Trains, my father would love this. The trains guy. Got a Hall of Justice just kind of chilling up here. Pretty awesome. Give you guys a shot over top here. First aisle. Brings us to the Detolf, up by the front door. Some nice horror stuff in this case. I love this line, the Tales from the Crypt line. Still super cheap too. Big Jim Kung Fu Studio. something you don't see every day. Got a spawn wall. Kenner Classics there. It's down here. Ooh. Look at that creature. Love that. Yeah, some really nice horror stuff. Right as you walk in. And then up we go towards the top of the ceiling. Oh, I got the Crypt Keeper up there in box. We got on that 225, I think it looks like. Matchbox Freddy, I love that. Little big heads here, 80. Look at that, pretty neat. Halloween two pack. More horror stuff. Got our first Toy Biz X Men sighting. A peg of these. And moving.
moving on over into another case here. Pretty cool. As you can see, there's just a lot of variety here. Just walking in. Things you definitely won't come across even at other vintage shops. It's very similar to Red Genesis. Totally rad retro toys. Let's see what's behind me here. <laughs> Got some Mezco Dark Carnivals. What do we have in here? Without wrecking this display. On down here, some VHS, this turtle copter, the sticker on the on the gloves too. Looks to be in pretty pretty good condition there. Star Wars, Micro Machines, a collector case, TMNT. Nice condition. And then the store opens up. This is right as you get to the back. Another case here, curio of things. Oh man, that karate kid. I think that bubble is, yeah, lifted, but still. Wonder how much Miyagi is loose there. Have to inquire about that. Got a bat, Toy Biz Batman, looks like the Keaton head. I guess I think they're like five variants. That looks like the Keaton. Oh, can't forget this guy. He's looking very clean, got some bootlegs. I'm gonna have to pick him up. Some Secret Wars in here. Magneto and Black Suit Spidey. Yes, got some Willow also on my list. Batman bootleg. That is sick. Some Zolo World. Warrior Beasts and Unpunched Robin Hood. Toy Biz Marvel. That's my favorite. Out of all the Toy Biz Marvel stuff, the, the gray cards are my favorite. I think that's... That's what does it for me. Look at this He-Man bag. I don't think I've ever seen that. Got this display case. Some die-cast Marvel Batman stuff. Some Motu up top. The old bag of bones there. He looks like he is in nice condition. Not yellowed and unbroken. Cool. Transformers. I am not a Transformers guy, but uh, I know plenty of you out there are. I know during the Hidden Treasures video, a lot of people were like, no Transformers, no Transformers. I mean, I didn't really see much of any, so... But here you go. Let me get in. I'll zoom in a little bit. So you can see some of the price tags there. Some more die cast over here. Miniatures too. D and D, sweet. Batman Begins posters. I remember when that came out? Time flies. Two more details here. 
those mummer bootlegs in back there. One, two, three. One of those stress, I you kind of want at least one of those. Some more Remco Karate Kid, Thundercats, Street Fighter G.I. Joe, Battle Beasts right here. Oh, that looks like a uh, Steel Monsters guy right there with the silver mask. It's like the, the Mad Max robot. I actually had a couple of those. I had the Buggy and the Destroyer when I was a kid. More loose stuff. Clash of the Titans down here. Arco. The other world. Dragon Riders of the Sticks. Need to take a closer look at some of that. Moving over into Toy Biz Marvel. I mean, Toy Biz Batman, I should say. Superhero case. Superman is cool. Superpowers, Batmobile. Ooh. I saw this on their Instagram. I'm going to buy that. <laughs> Got a Lucy display here. It looks like a lot of army figures, the one inch army men, which is pretty awesome. A whole lot of it. Definitely the only toy shop I've been to with the amount of army men that I've seen here. Blow mold, Spider-Man there, Mego thing. Some nice Mego pieces in here, some Secret Wars as well, Doc Ock. Dr. Doom in there. Kang, some others. Bottom shelf here, making my old ass bend down. That's okay. Some turtles over here. And check this out, the Navarone playset. I love this thing. I did not know this thing existed as a kid, but here it is with the box. Nice display up top on this Curio. Then into more figures. We got a bunch of one inchers there. Of course, some Kenner Star Wars. Oh, that Wampa looks really clean. Wow, that is a really clean Wampa. Damn, it's impressive. Unbroken, like not yellowed at all. Wow. crap ton of smurfs i had a lot of these as a kid i don't have them as an adult but uh i mean there's a, an army of instant collection army of them here it keeps going and going and going wrapping all the way around there <laughs> and then more army stuff got a trash can full of plushes here Pretty sweet, Charlie Brown plush in the back. Some guns, got an LJN Stinger as well. And then this is the other side of the, the main island display that we're gonna dig into right now. This is just, check this out. If you can see this wall here, it's just packed with 90s toys, early 90s, lots of toy biz. Some more of my favorites. It's more of my personal favorites here. All the gray card. Toy Biz Marvel, as I mentioned before. I still need an unmasked Deadpool. Got a couple of Daredevil suits here too, which is sweet. Doctor Doom, Green Goblin, bunch of Venoms. Got the bat here. Ooh, Bob. I actually need Bob. I need Bob. Another bat. It's 
see what variant that is. Visceral reaction is maybe the big chin. I don't, I don't know. Some more Robin Hood. And these cards look, oh yeah, check this out. These cards have opener written all over. I mean, they're nice. They're in, they're not in bad shape at all by any means, but the, uh, the unpunched down there, I think I'm going to grab just to keep unpunched and, um, maybe pick off some of these and open them. That'd be kind of cool. Toy Biz Marvel, Toy Biz Marvel, Toy Biz Marvel. A lot of it, wow. What's down here? Oh, these Sears play sets. Oh, this Ford Apache is sick. This is really cool. More army men stuff. Look at that. Right down the row here. That is sick. Let me know in the comments if anyone's into that. This place is making me want to be into that. I can't do that. Oh! Huh. I was just talking about you. Here he is. Sick. Yeah, the Toy Biz Marvel selection here is fantastic. It is vast, and it's high-quality stuff. All of these cards are really nice, too. Most of them, you know, 20 25 bucks pop. As you can see. A Toy Biz Marvel Legends down here. Awesome. Floor to ceiling, there's just a ton of stuff here, as you guys can see. Curio with more Marvel stuff, Toy Biz Legends. This activity set's pretty neat. Display piece right like that. And more Army Men. On that destroyer 275. Sweet. That looks sealed. Let's see. I mean, the tape is either sliced or dried out, but. Where'd you go? Over here. Oh, it's cool okay. to see that. Battle Pack Knights. This is really cool, man. I was not expecting. I was not expecting to see this stuff here. I gotta take my dad here and love this. This Tonka truck. Clearly used. Saw a lot of love. A lot of dirt. Custom coupe. Nice. It's pretty sweet. A lot of Toy Biz Marvel. Here are all the big boys, big sets. More modern stuff. We can have some Toy Biz Marvel. Look at these military vehicles. And here, underneath, runs all the way down into the ground. I'll show you guys some of the bigger Toy Biz pieces that are here. And looks like my backside knocked over. Legends of Batman. Put him here. While I'm down here, let's check. On this row, I got some a whole load of hook. Looks like there's a Simpsons back there. Harry Potter, Shadow, some Jim Carrey mask, a lot of that. Some skeleton warriors here. I have to show this. I know my buddy, the Jersey Geek, would be interested in this stack. So am I, to be honest. Got a Mummies Alive piece here as well. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo as Cull. Toy Biz just doing everything back in the day. More Cull back here. <laughs> Might have to pick these up too. 
some Ronin Warriors here as well. Pretty neat. I also just want to show this again. These play sets are so cool. It's tempting to get into this stuff, but I don't know, man. These two especially, these Ford Apaches I like a lot, but uh, I don't know, maybe another time. Center display here. Also, this this Lucy tub over here, definitely dinosaurs caveman. Eight bucks. Looks like more toy. There's Marvel in here. Yeah, plenty to dig. Plenty to dig through here. I mean, like. These bins go deep. Look at that. Plenty to dig through. And that, folks, is it. Okay, guys, wrapping up our adventure here today at RetroQuest Toys and Collectibles. My final thoughts. I love this place. This kind of toy shop. And I know my buddy, the Jersey Geek, will love this place. If he hasn't text messaged me already while he's watching this video through, it should be coming in any second now. Uh, he and I talk all the time. And one of the things that we talk about as it pertains to this hobby, specifically toy shops, is that we both have an affinity for the smaller, cozier, well thought out, well and carefully curated toy shops such as this one, similar to Red Genesis and Totally Rad Retro Toys. So the next time I come back here, I will more than likely be back here with him and he's going to have a field day in here as I did today. Prices were fair. The guys worked with me, Glenn and Glenn Jr. Thank you both very, very much for your time here today. Thank you for graciously allowing me to film your store during work hours. It was great getting to know you guys, and I can't wait to come back. I'm not going to get into the entire hall or any of the hall, uh, but I will tell you about it. Everything is wrapped up in bubble wrap in a box. I'm not going to get into all that right now, but what we did pick up, we picked up the Mr. Miyagi Karate Kid set. We picked up the Monster in My Pocket carded piece, which I'm very excited about. We picked up, what else? We, we, we did pick up the Skeleton Warriors. Sorry, Jersey. Uh, we picked up all the Skeleton Warriors. Um, it was time. I've been waiting for the right moment to strike on a good lot, and the spirit moved me. So we picked those up, and we also picked up the Willow figures. Uh, so I pretty much both the heroes, uh, heroic collector set number two, um, along with one of the monsters, carded monsters. And those are openers for sure. So I'm excited. Uh, and they actually look like they're one of them. The, the collector set looks like it was already tampered with or open. So those are opener candidates for sure. Those will get opened. I have a nice uh, minty carded set. Shout out to my buddy, Caveman Toys, that I have from him. So... I'll have a nice mix of carded and loose with that. And we picked up uh, all of those Robin Hood figures that we found on the pegs. I did not pick up the carded figures, the, uh, the carded figures, the unpunched uh, figures. I left those alone. I did pick up all the stuff on the pegs. You know, they're not perfect. So for me, those are perfect. They're perfect for me because I can open them and I know I have something mint and real and all that sort of good stuff. I don't typically like to open things on card, but... 90s stuff like that where the card isn't the cards aren't great you know those, those are that's where i love to live because then i know i have something i opened out of the package and uh minty and real so anyway so that i believe that is it uh off the top of my dome here i have the, the boxes closed but that is it i traded a bunch of things in today not a bunch of things three things in today that covered this entire lot so no money out of pocket spent always a good thing and uh, yeah, guys, this was an A++ kind of day for me. Highly recommend. I will put Retro Quest Toys and Collectibles in the description of this video below. The store details, the Instagram, all of that will be 
in the description of this video below. Be sure to check them out on all platforms. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, and they're here in Port Jervis. So be sure to check them out in person, online, virtually, in all the galaxies, the Milky Way, all the planets. Go check them out wherever you're located. Be sure to check them out. They're great guys running a great shop, and uh, this will not be my last time visiting. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Catch you on the next time. Peace.